We're also looking at some very mild temperatures, a little bit cooler for a lot of our uh, communities off to the uh, west of us as well and off to the north. So a lot of us are sitting in those upper 60s, lower 70s, which is somewhat on the nicer side when it comes to temperatures. But when it comes to that wildfire smoke and haze, we're really going to start to see today it is sitting right over Wisconsin. It'll start to push into our region as early as tomorrow evening. Once it does start to make its way in, the good news is it is in the upper levels of the atmosphere. However, However, if it is able to sink down to the surface level of the atmosphere, that's when we will start to see our air quality greatly decrease. So something we'll keep an eye on as we enter the rest of the weekend. For today, though, things are looking mighty fine. Lots of sun. Overall, temperatures in those upper 60s will only rise to the middle and lower 70s, so a little bit on the cooler end. We're also seeing full on clear skies. Lots of sunshine among every single one of our communities. All of those rain showers from yesterday have since exited all the way off to the east. Nothing we have to worry about about there are clear skies to the west of us, which is great. That means we'll just continue on with this clear sky pattern. As we move into the remainder of today, we're going to pretty much see those good old sunshine icons hanging around a little bit uh, warmer right along the lakeshore, cooler, a little bit inland. But of course, as the sun continues to be down, that's when we'll see those temperatures begin to rise. Dew points nice and low sitting in the 40s and the 50s. We are going to feel little to no humidity over the next 24 hours. However, we are still dealing with some of those strong winds moving in from the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour with individual gusts that have popped all the way into the 20s. So strong northwesterly winds are still a concern that will continue to push on through as we make our way into the rest of this afternoon. A couple passing clouds are possible, but mainly clear skies are expected. Same deal goes as we make our way into Saturday as well as Sunday. Future track looks almost kind of boring at this point besides those passing clouds because we are expecting little to no precipitation over the next seven days. However, with some of these stronger winds, we actually do have moderate beach hazard risks all along the lakeshore and our temperatures for the water is a little bit on the cooler side. Winds again strongest later this afternoon. For today, high temperatures are expected to reach 73 degrees, plenty of sunshine expected, and then of course very pleasant and mild conditions. Tonight, things get much cooler. Temperatures fall into those 50s, even cooler than yesterday night. Some of our northern communities even tapping into the 40s. So if you were thinking about turning off the AC and cracking open the windows, this is the perfect night to do so because these temperatures are going to be so cool. We'll continue to see that sunshine, a little bit of hazy skies. The worst of the haze will arrive on Saturday, mainly in the mid-morning to afternoon hours, so just keep that in mind. But temperatures, they rise into the upper 70s. By Sunday, we pop into the middle 80s, nice and warm for this time of year. As we enter early next week, we'll start to see cloud cover begin to beef up, bringing us temperatures that are a little bit closer to our seasonal averages, especially by the middle to end of next week, with those temperatures reaching the lower to middle 80s. Again, little to no precipitation is expected over the next seven days, but models are hinting at the chance for some rain by next Friday.